Welcome to my series looking at the best EV chargers. I had 14 chargers, I whittled them down to 12, and this video I'm whittling those 12 to the best four EV chargers for solar and battery customers. Now, if you don't care about the best EV charger for solar, you might care what's the best looking charger, what's the easiest charger for you to install if you're an engineer, what is the best charger for features or tariff integration or the most integrated charger. Well, a couple of those videos will be coming up and they may already have been made. So check out the charger playlist. And if they haven't been made, make sure you hit that notification bell and that subscriber button so you don't miss out. Members and patrons will see exclusive early access about all these charges that I've reviewed so far and help build and make videos on this channel, including the Cozy 6 reviews. Now we're left with the best four charge for solar and battery customers. Now, if you don't currently have solar, if you don't currently have a battery, then maybe check out evnick.com forward slash solar, whereas there's details about the solar system I've had installed and exclusive discounts from Heatable using code evnick75 and evnick150 to give a £75 off or £150 off your Heatable install, whether that be for battery only or solar and battery system. Now, if you are currently with certain energy companies, bear in mind that using your solar energy might not actually be the best priority for you. You might actually be better to export it. So make sure you check out some of the videos I've done explaining that. Now, this is one of the hardest categories to decide on because I've whittled these down to four, but every single charger on the market pretty much today or will be doing solar integration. So to be in the best tour top four category for this is extremely difficult. Now, without any further ado, in fourth place, we have the Simpsons and Partners Charger. Now, the Simpsons and Partners Charger was in my last video about the best aesthetically looking charger, but it comes in the solar category in fourth place because it allows wireless CT monitoring. Now, CT, CT clamp, and we're talking about a lot in this video, and they are measuring devices that are placed on your electricity cables to measure the amount of electricity passing through them. Now, they can measure electricity in both directions. They know when you're drawing from the grid or exporting to the grid. Every single company uses these differently. Some of them use multiple CT clamps. Some of them just use one CT clamp to see if you're exporting energy back to the grid or pulling from the grid. Now, these CT clamps on this are wireless, which means that you can connect one to your solar array, which may be in one part of your house, and then also one to your grid that may be in a different part of your house. So depending on where, where and how this is wired by your electrician, it does make the install process a lot easier and a lot less sort of intrusive into your home. Now in third place, we have the next blue charger. Now the next blue charger only uses one CT clamp. Now it's a wireless CT clamp again, like I mentioned, and that's this system here. So it basically goes inside an electricity cupboard near where your, basically your, your meter is, or basically the connection, the box that they put in for when they're wiring up your EV charger. Now this basically has the CT clamps plugged into the bottom of it, and this is just obviously the breaker for that. Now it does transmit wirelessly through the CT, in Europe, they do have a version that actually just works with the current meter that you've got and uses the meter signal. But in the UK, it will be a CT clamp like this, and that little area would transmit wirelessly to this system here. Now, because it's one CT clamp, in the app, it won't really tell you if you've been charging off solar. It will just try and make sure that the solar isn't exporting. It'll try and keep that figure as close to zero as it can by ramping and ramping down the charge rate of your EV charger to make sure that you're you're basically not importing or exporting any energy. The problem with one CT clamp systems, depending on how your battery is wired, it could actually draw from your battery. So there is no way of basically this one CT clamp knowing if the battery is exporting. So that would require a little bit of battery management on your side or wiring the CT clamp of your battery so it doesn't see the EV charger. So now we're left with the two final chargers on who is the best for solar. Now in the previous video, people noticed that my top was a little bit mucky and it's because I'm in a garage. As you can probably see, the cloths have been washed and yet they're already covered in sawdust. Moving around and sorting the logistics out of this video is extremely difficult. And also people have mentioned that I haven't got every charger. No, I've only got the chargers that companies have sent me for review with no charge. I've not charged any companies to appear in any of these videos you see behind me in this wall. They've just basically been given to me, the charge been given to me and allow me free reign to review them. So if that company didn't want to send me a charger for review, I can't display it. That's as simple as that. So we're left with the final two chargers for solar. And these two companies both pride themselves in being solar companies. So second place, we have the Hypervolt 3.0 charger. Now this charger has the ability of having 
two CT clamps. That means it can see not only your house load, but also your solar load, which means you can use one app to see what your solar is doing and what your, your house is doing. But it also means that you can see exactly what's coming from the solar energy back into your car. It means that you can play around a lot more with the figures on how much is coming from the grid. If you need, need a little bit of extra boost and you wanna hit a certain charge rate, you can play along with that a lot more with this, this type of charge with two CT clamps. It's a nice looking charger. It didn't win my aesthetical pleasing chargers. Go and see that video instead. But uh, this does have a nice little striking lightning on here that does change color and a nice little tiny cable design built into it. Now, to be honest, if you watch this far in the video, most of you who have been in the EV industry for a while or been watching my videos probably know who the winner is behind this. But before I unveil it, let's talk about why this company has become number one. They've been in the solar EV charging game for the longest. They've been doing solar uh, divert into cars for a long time. They even have a company slogan based around it, which is obviously why it's my energy. Now the my energy is not a looker. It's probably, in my opinion, one of the ugliest looking charge points on the market. But for solar and battery customers, it's a clear winner. It's got three CT clamps in there. It's got one for your grid, one for your battery, and one for your solar. Now, because it has three CT clamps, you have the ability to stop it from draining your battery into your car. You have abilities to prioritize what gets the power from the sun first. So you might prioritize your battery gets charged up before the car. You might prioritize the car gets charged up before the battery from the solar. You have a lot of flexibility in there with the My Energy Charger. It's a very good app, it's very well integrated with Optimus Intelligent, which means that you can get cheaper rates on that as well. And as a solar battery customer, um, it is probably one of the better ones. Now, they do do their own, their own battery. And if you do have their own battery with it, you have some extra integrations with that. But I'm not a big fan of having one firm control all my smart home technology. But it is a nice offering, an interesting offering for my energy that they've incorporated all that kind of solar EV charging all under one roof. Now, like I said, it's not the best looking. If you're wondering who the best looking charger is, check out this video here. And if you're thinking about what all the other categories are, see the playlist on EV chargers here.